Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and uh, my gift today is this video about uh, clearing dark chi clouds uh, from your environment. And uh, I have to say I have planned to make a much more fancy production, um, but uh, plans change and here we go. This is the short and skinny one. So let me cut right to this. Um, <coughs> there's going to be a meditation and it's go going to be about um, clearing dark chi clouds. Now this is the story behind it. Um, so I've, you know, for a few weeks I've had like snide sniffles, like a slight congestion in my sinuses and uh, lethargy and uh, at the gym, you know, I, I couldn't do the same weights anymore. Uh, so there was a you know general decrease in life force and you know I checked the energies in the house and it was good and you know there were no portals and you know I um, had removed you know some implant attacks you know so but there was no uh, nothing I couldn't really detect. Um, but then some of my clients also, you know, had uh, similar symptoms. Um, so I checked, um, you know, with, uh, you, know, uh, you know, one of my best seers. I mean, they're not my seers, you know, they are clients of mine. And, you know, he goes under the synonym of Ixia. Um, you remember there might be, a, you know, they put out a video with him about you know, crystals and water healing, you know, how they're being used together. Uh, he's a wonderful seer, and I had him look at uh, my uh, situation. And so what he saw, that there was uh, like a, you know, clouds of, you know, dark chi, um, like, you know, uh, there was like a bubble around my property, but on top, everywhere, you know, there were these clouds of dark chi attached. In a way that maybe tumbleweed, you know, attaches itself, you know, to a fence when it gets blown around. And um, so they were just, you know, sitting on top, you know, and all around. And so um, inside it was clean, but it was kind of cutting out, you know, the good stuff, you know, from the heavens. So there was a so-called filter there. And so, uh, you know, we checked, you know, what is going on. Is somebody here messing with me? <laughs> um, you know, where does this uh, come from? And so, uh, basically, uh, the understanding that came through Ixia, and it just completely rings true with me, I mean, otherwise I would not be speaking about this, um, <coughs> was um, that uh, humanity, you know, is creating a lot of really dark thought forms, you know. It's just uh, fear, a lot of fear and anguish, <laughs> I mean, you know, caused by... Uh, you know, the pandemic um, that we are having, you know, people are losing their jobs or their source of income, you know, their small businesses. It's very difficult. Um, people are worried about their health. They, they're grieving for uh, lost uh, loved ones. Um, and, of course, you know, worried about the future, you know, what to speak about, you know, the world situation here right now, you know, with Ukraine and trade wars uh, with China, you know, who knows where this, you know, whole thing is going to lead, you know. So a lot of people, you know, are very, very worried and, you know, also many are losing their existence, you know, their life is just changing. Um, and uh, so these thought forms, um, they get um, blown, you know, around. Now, when asked about, you know, what is the gravity, what is moving these uh, negative emotions, you know, do they follow ley lines, uh, you know, uh, uh, from up, you know, the mountains into the valleys, you know, where do they flow? And... Um, Ixia uh, got uh, the notion that 
Um, the gravity is basically the duality, you know, of uh, through so these things will attach, you know, um, to light. Whenever there is a lot of light, it will float there, you know, kind of like a balloon, you know, is attracted to the electrostatically changed uh, wool sweater. Uh, you know, similar principle. So just a, again, you know, on the astral plane, the laws of Newton's physics do not apply. And um, so, <laughs> so this was a purification that we never asked for, right? And then um, we uh, like proceeded um, to clear this. Um, Ixia uh, did it his way um, of you know visualizing you know them um, disappearing and you know creating a sunshine. Um, you know, that would also dissipate, you know, and clear like a happy environment, you know, basically the principle is you visualize what you want, and then it's gonna happen. Uh, that's why one should not dwell on negative thought forms. Uh, so anyhow, and um, well, uh, I um, use the method, um, you know, I was guided to use the method that uh, I consider extremely successful. And this is um, connecting, you know, with the uh, sun god, you know, um, with the sun itself, you know, um, our local sponsor here in this galaxy, right? I mean, if you consider absolute source, you know, it's huge, you know, it's absolutely huge, you know, what we consider God, absolute source is like, uh, at least what we see on the physical universe, you know, a multitude of galaxies, you know, arranged in the form of a loose sponge. That is Western science nowadays. And um, so that is the big sponsor. You know, the, the cl more closer one is like our local galaxy, right? And uh, huge consciousness, huge awareness. And then even more local is, well, uh, let's consider them, you know, the solar system. So here, you know, the, the central consciousness that feeds everybody else is the sun god. You know? And then, of course, a more local sponsor would then be, you know, the Earth Mother, you know, Gaia here in, in this time. Uh, so for you that are afraid of, of paganism, <laughs> we're just going, you know, down the chain here. So, but uh, I consider, you know, um, the sun god, you know, the sun consciousness to be extremely purifying. I haven't lived in a desert for many years. It just uh, purifies a lot of things very, very fast. <clears throat> so this is the meditation we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So if you are driving a car, you know, listening to a, uh, the blog, uh, please uh, stop, uh, you know, stop now, switch to some music, you know, you're going to be so spaced out, uh, it's not going to be safe for you to keep driving, right? So don't uh, drive or operate heavy machinery, you know, when you're listening to this. So close your eyes and uh, relax, you know, best is when you're on an office chair, uh, feet on the floor, uh, but you may also, you know, sit in a lotus position if you can. Uh, best is to you have a rolled up um, pillow or blanket, you know, under your butt. Uh, makes it a lot easier, you know, to have a nice balanced spine, you know, for a little longer time. But I prefer office chair. Um, and... Now just stack your spine nicely and tuck your chin in slightly mm -hmm. and smile and imagine that you're shape-shifting your legs and your spine like a taproot deep into the earth mm -hmm. and smile and on the inhale draw her love through those roots into your whole body and on the exhale and you laugh deep and uh, smile like an idiot and pump like a skin diver. You know? Pump air like a skin diver. So pull it in and out and use your air, you know, like a leaf blower, clearing the stacked up uh, Chi, you know, from your legs, clearing that out. Make sure there is a good chi flow from your root chakra. 
as well as from your foot chakra into the earth. Smile, breathe deeply. So, you know, our prayer and purification, you know, really depends on life force. <laughs> so that's why many dance, you know, or have, you know, powerful breath work or other activities that increase your chi. So, now put your tongue to the palate and start drawing the love from the earth into your heart. On the inhale as much as you can, as much as you get in there, and on the exhale send it out the top of the head, you know, all the way to the ceiling, that would be like six feet, you know, two meters. You know, the higher you go in your energy systems there, you know, the more subtle the dimensions that you access. That's the big trick. Mm -hmm. So just uh, breathe out the crown chakra, you know, with the earth chi, just blow this out nicely like a leaf blower. Mm. Okay. And now we ask the angels to clear, you know, uh, and protect our force field mm -hmm. so that no negative energy can attach to it and actually to pull out any negative energy that is in our force field right now. Amen. Just agree to that. And it should kick in about now. We get more peaceful. Mm -hmm. And now ask to let a lot of blessings you know, be Showered unto us. Mm -hmm. Lord of love, light, protection, nourishment, the latest updates and support. And it takes about yeah, three, four seconds and it's starting to come in and start pulling it into your whole body and then on the exhale, send your gratitude, you know, out to the heavens, out to the angels of love and light and other beings that are just blessing you here right now. Mm -hmm. So have a loving exchange with the heavens. Deep breathing and smile like an idiot. You know, just innocent like, ah, smile. Yeah, that's appropriate here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now, uh, Ask that you be shown uh, in your mind's eye or get an understanding, you know, um, about the dark chi that is, you know, accumulated, you know, in your property, you know, whether that's an apartment or house or around the property. You know, some of you may have portals there. Let's see, do you have portals, the negative portals in there? Yes or no? And if you get an upflow of energy, yeah, you probably have a negative portal in, in your environment. And uh, if you get an answer, just ask, you know, where in, in your environment is that negative portal? Uh -huh. And I have a special video, you know, on how to clear close negative portals, you know, use this uh, for later. But uh, let's just keep going. And uh, let's see, um, uh, let's say on one to a hundred, let's say when a hundred, you know, you will have a, you know, really good energy at your home, you know, without being a fanatic. <laughs> and um, so how much good energy, you know, and of course zero, you know, there is no good energy at all. You know, you kind of want to kill yourself probably when you have zero good energy in your home. And so where are you cruising right now? At which, how many percent good energy do you have of your potential, of your potential uh, good energy now? Uh-huh. And uh, let's see, let's see, ask, you know, of all the bad energy that's just in and around your house. So how much is generated by you, you know, and your family, you know, those residents, you know, in your house, how many percent?
And uh, then about how many percent is just from other people, you know, just really attached <laughs> from the outside, you know, nothing to do with you. Uh -huh. How much of that is that? Mm. All right. So now you have kind of an idea, you know, of what is going on. I mean, you know, don't be worried too much that you're making this up or, uh, you know, it's not accurate enough. I mean, you're not buying a house here or buying a car. Uh, you know, it's not so important. It's just, you know, getting a general idea and, you know, in a playful way, so to say. So don't be too uptight, you know, and it doesn't work. You expect too much. And now uh, let us connect with the sun. And this is just a good thing, you know, to do for everybody. You know, I'm not saying, you know, you should not, you know, connect with absolute source, you know, absolutely. But you sh I think, you know, we should also connect, you know, with all the other beings, you know. <laughs> you don't just ignore <laughs> the sun or the earth mother or neighbor, you know. It's love them all, so to say, not just humans, you know, have a loving relationship with them all. You know, whether it's the wind or the sun or the earth or absolute source. You know, if you can't love the sun or the earth, how can you love source? You know, it's <laughs> all connected, you know, and everything is part of source anyhow. In just in case you have worries. <laughs> so, um, but now, um, just imagine, close your eyes. And it may be day or night, it doesn't really matter that much, but just imagine that you connect in your intention with the sun, you know, this radiant being. Mm -hmm. And on the inhale, you know, you pull in, you know, the sunlight and the love. Mm -hmm. And on the exhale, you send your love back with your breath, you know, to the sun. And uh, don't just inhale, you know, the sun love through your nostrils, no, no, inhale it, you know, through your skin, through your whole body, and exhale, you know, through your whole body. Mm -hmm. Just go back and forth. Back and forth, you know, deep breathing and smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now, every time when you send love to the sun, to the sun consciousness, you know, um, just think swa. Ah. Let me explain, um, you know, so you understand before you, you know, start internalizing this. So, uh, Swaha, you know, spelled like swan and haha, you know, swan, haha, swa, ha. Uh, that's the syllable uh, that's used in Vedic fire sacrifice. You know, when you offer um, like uh, foods or uh, incense or ghee, you know, divine substances, you know, as oblations. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the mantra that is being used. And of course, you know, in essence, the best sacrifice, you know, is love. You know, absolute love. I mean, Krishna says it in the Bhagavad Gita, and of course, you know, what you put out, you know, comes back to you. You know, anybody wants to argue with this. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, just think about it yourself. And so, um, you know, so we're offering, you know, the sun, you know, love. And uh, this is a syllable of the of offering and uh, so just uh, start doing this now you know compare to you know just projecting love as a gift and then you know try now with uh, silver swaha mm -hmm. and just keep going it you know offering you know pulling as much love from heaven and earth into your heart and then send this love, you know, to the sun with the syllable Swaha. Smile like an idiot, so it's really love that's coming from your heart. And this is probably for some of you a very ecstatic heart-opening experience. And 
many of you uh, will feel, you know, the echo of love, you know, coming back to you. <laughs> Why are you thinking I'm smiling <laughs> and giggling here? You know, this is all a beautiful chi. And, you know, so it's just like, you know, we don't hit grandpa up, you know, for money right away, you know, have a little small talk with him. So in the same way, uh, you know, we just keep projecting love to the sun god. And then uh, now let's ask him to please clear those dark, you know, clouds of dark chi, of dark emotions and thought forms, you know, that have attached, you know, to our property, you know, to this bubble of our property. Yes. And to solve it. Uh -huh. There's every breath, probably, that you send of love to the sun god, you know, there's a more is being dissolved and returned. And you, as a result, you start feeling, you know, it becoming lighter and lighter and happier and happier around it. You know, there's going to be a point where you start smiling, you know, where you over the hump, so to say, the 50% point, and then it gets more and more ecstatic. Uh, you know, I mean, really, you know, ecstatic, you know, beyond normal <laughs> happiness. <laughs> and then that will plateau out and then it's probably, you know, the purification is done. So you can measure it by your emotions and some of you, you know, will see it, you know, depending on how you operate. And just keep projecting love on, you know, Lord Surya. Surya is the Sanskrit name. And that how he introduced himself, you know, to some of my clients, too. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, have your heart open, mm -hmm. smile like an idiot, and really breathe like a bellow. And let me tell you the story while you, you know, um, doing this purification breath here. So about, uh, well, 35 years ago, I... I took a really good friend of mine, and you know, very intelligent person, you know, was a professor of history and uh, you know, architecture at the University of Texas. Uh, you know, took him into a possible future. And, um, you know, this was the time when cell phones were bricks, <laughs> huge bricks, and uh, there was no internet. Uh, there and uh, no cell phone pollution. Well, anyhow, um, <clears throat> so uh, we would uh, we looked into the future, you know, to see what would happen, um, you know, spiritually on on this planet. And um, so what he saw, uh, one of the aspects, you know, that there were people living in rural communities because, well, you know, the cities were full of uh, pollution. And you know, not, not just chemical pollution and disease, but also, he said, electronic pollution. Of course, you know, we had no idea about Wi Fi and cell phone, you know, but uh, he kind of, you know, expressed that, you know, in this, and this is kind of what is happening. And he said those people would go to the countryside, and uh, many of them would start foraging, you know, from the forest, from the wild, uh, because this was the most healthy food. And, um, you know, with the most uh, life force and least contamination. I'm basically learning, you know, Native American ways, you know, how to live off the land, foraging, being in harmony with the land, thankfulness, etc., giving back to Mother Earth. And so there were communities, you know, of people, and they were all together um, praying and visualizing. And what they were visualizing was, um, you know, a protective bubble around their property, about their place, you know, a bubble uh, that uh, would, uh, you know, divert a cloud of negativity uh, that would be, uh, you know, a pr that would be approaching. They saw this or they felt this coming. And um, we were not sure whether it was radioactivity. <laughs> and, you know, you should be aware that uh, most of the, you know, atomic power 
you know, stations are along fault lines, like the Ohio River Valley, you know, that's where the water is, and that's where the fault lines are, and, uh, you know, and when uh, you have big earthquakes, well, uh, you know, there are high chances that there be leakage, you know, or that they burn out, you know, when the water dries up. So anyhow, uh, yeah, we, we thought this, uh, but uh, they were toxic clouds. Now, uh, when I heard, you know, Ixia describing, you know, that there was this bubble around my house and, you know, stuff was sticking to it, I, uh, I remembered, you know, this kind of prediction. <laughs> and so, um, you know, uh, everybody that is listening to this, you know, uh, you know, uh, spread this knowledge, you know, everybody that has a house or even, you know, lives in an apartment building, you know, um, there are a lot of dark chi clouds floating around, you know, created by humanity. And uh, we ask, you know, the sun god to please touch you, you know, into love, light, rainbows, <laughs> or just, you know, dissipate them, you know, whatever is the best method. Mm -hmm. So really, let's ask the Sun God, you know, to please, you know, purify, you know, this uh, and clear the karma, you know, so we don't have to experience, you know, catastrophes, you know, in any way or depression in any way. Amen, 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 amen. Just keep projecting love into the Sun. Yeah. Okay, now um, uh, pull up, you know, that love from heaven and earth and also from the sun and then just pump this into the bubble, you know, so the inside of your house bubble will be filled with golden light. Then mm -hmm. imagine that this bubble around your house or property is reflective, you know, it's like a golden reflective, kind of like one of those Christmas light bulbs, no, no, it's this Christmas decoration, you know, this glass bulbs in gold, mm -hmm, it's a good template, yes, and fill this whole space with love and light, and we ask the spirit guides, you know, to help uh, clear any negative entities, maybe even any portals if they can, you know, without us having to look deeper into it. And fill it with love and light. And keep, you know, cleansing as much as possible any darkness that attaches, you know, to the bubble of light around us. Um, um, And we thank all the beings, you know, that helped out. And we ask that, you know, everything that happens in and from this meditation is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most protectors. Amen. And you can open your eyes and hear your back. So I'm, I'm planning, um, you know, to um, ask, you know, uh, you do have a, question and answer session uh, with uh, Raj, you know, the high self. Um, <clears throat> uh, well, I'm so spaced out here right now. <laughs> um, you know, we had an interview with her before, Robin, Robin Butler, yes. And um, so this will come, you know, some other time, whenever it's, uh, you know, for the best, but I thought I'd put this out here. Uh, I do private uh, session, you know, help you with, you know, waking up. Uh, it is really amazing the speed with which people are, are waking up. Uh, they just need a lot of guidance nowadays. And so, uh, you know, do it, you know, while it's still affordable, while I still have space available. Um, send me an email, you know, or go to my website. I love you. Namaste.